We now look at uh, more examples of physical applications that can be solved uh, using uh, integration. Now first, uh, work can be described as a change in energy when a force causes a displacement of an object. For like example, um, when you carry up a refrigerator up a flight of stairs, uh, pushing a box or maybe a stalled car, you apply a force that results in the displacement of the object and work is done. Now, if a constant force, let's say F, displaces an object D in the direction of the force, the work done uh, in the, is the force multiplied by the distance. So work is equal to force times distance. But now, what if uh, the force is not a constant? Now before we talk about that, um, it is easiest to use metric units for force and work. Now Newton often uh, we use a capital N for to represent that is the force required to give a one kilogram mass an acceleration of one meter per second squared. A joule, uh, represented by capital J, is one newton uh, meter, or so be a, the newton times the meter. The work done by a uh, one newton force over a distance. Uh, over a distance of one meter. So, first, the definition of work, that the work done by variable force F is in moving an object along a line from, let's say, um, x equals to A to x equals to B in the direction of the force is given by that W equals to the integral from A to B of F of x dx. Now, an application of force and work that is easy to visualize is the stretching and compression of a spring. Uh, suppose an object is attached to a spring on a frictionless, let's say horizontal surface just to have our variable uh, in terms of x. You could also do a vertical one, it would just be in terms of y. The object slides back and forth under the influence of the spring. We say that the spring is at an equilibrium when it is neither uh, compress or stretch. And it is convenient to let x equal to uh, zero when it's in the equilibrium position. Now Hooke's law states that under appropriate conditions a spring stretch x units beyond its equilibrium uh, pulls back with the force of equal to uh, k times x where k is a constant. Now the value of k depends on such factors as the thickness of the spring, the materials used in its composition, and units and force and distance. So let's look at an example with multiple parts. Uh, suppose a force of 10 newtons is required to stretch a spring uh, 0.1 meters from its equilibrium position and it hold it in that position. Uh, for first, let's assuming that the spring ob obeys Hooke's law, find the a uh, spring constant k. So by this that so we know again that f of x is k times x, so we're trying to find out what is k. So in this case we know that um, when x equals to 0 0.1 that the uh, force for that is equal to 10 newtons, so we could say that uh, 0 0.1 oops, times k, not x, because we're trying to find out what k is, is equal to, uh, like we were saying, uh, 10 newtons. So k, divide both sides by 0.1, k would equal to 100. So for this spring, f of x equals to 100x. Now for part b, it says how much work is needed to compress the spring uh, 0.5 meters from its equilibrium position. So we're trying to compress the spring. So in this case, the work is equal to, and again, it'll be the integral from A to B. So we're going from the equilibrium position. Now, since we're compressing the spring, it would be to negative 0.5 of our f of x, which was that 100x dx. So that would equal to 
Uh, let's see, integrating this, so that'll be what? 50x squared evaluated from 0 to negative uh, 0.5. Uh, so plugging that in, uh, so plugging in the negative 0.5 while squaring that, um, we would get, what, 12.5 minus 0, so that would just equal uh, to 12.5. That would be the work required for that. Now, how much work is needed to stretch the spring uh, 0.25 meters from its equilibrium position? So for this one, that would equal to the integral from 0, and now we're going to 0.25 of this 100x dx. So again, that's 50x squared evaluated from 0 to 0.25. And then plugging that in, that would equal to 3.125. So that would be the amount of work needed to stretch the spring uh, 0.25 meters from its equilibrium position. And then last, how much work, uh, how much additional work is required to stretch the spring 0.25 meters if it has already been stretched, not just stretch, stretched, uh, 0.1 meters from its position? So in this case, we're looking for the work, and we're not starting from the equilibrium position. We're saying that it had it already been stretched 0.1 meters, and we want to go stretching out to 0.25 meters. And again, our function is 100x dx. So that would be 50x squared evaluated from 0 0.1 to 0.25. And what you would get in that case is 5.625. So that would be the additional work needed to stretch it, not from the equilibrium position to um, 0.25, but from 0.1 meters stretched out already to 0.25 meters.